Good day, folks. This is Nitel from Nitel Gaming. Um, today we're going to be playing a bit of Stationeers, and we're going to do a lowland start. Um, very barren, desolate um, world. Breathable oxygen, um, but you don't start with much. You've got to do a lot of running um, and scanning around and scavenging um, for items. And your biggest problem is food, um, because you start with just do cereal bars so you've got to get farming very quickly um, or find a ton of the tomato soups which is in some of the buildings that you scavenging mining is going to be tough as well the resources are quite far apart our first priority there we go is finding some kind of base to start looting and as I said we're going to be doing a lot of running I'll show you what's in the backpack in a moment as soon as we get to this base because then I'm going to do some inventory management you also don't have a jetpack so you can't what's falling there that's interesting more items falling still falling That's very interesting. There's a coal generator. Oh, this is just ammunition. No, drop that. Don't need that. Not playing multiplayer. Nothing in here. Okay, not much around this base. Not gonna take the paint mixer, not gonna take anything yet except okay, let's do some inventory management. Um six four six five four there we go. Okay, I wanna move this over there and that over there. Right, then I wanna get rid of that, get rid of that, not gonna be using the flares. Um, I'll keep all this, but now I want to quickly. Oh, wait, that's not the right one. That's the one I want because I want to scavenge some of this for my starting base. Here's one more. Right, I'm going to draw. I've got some glass. Scanning some plastics. Okay, some plastics. Get that back. Ah, power controller. I'll take that. Because I use them as char like chargers on this battery in here as well. Okay. Don't run away. You are going in there. Okay. Oh, okay. I know what this means. It's more glass. Okay. Got the glass. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Yes. I don't want the steel plates now. Oh, come on. I actually want the iron plates, iron sheets. Right, I think that's going to be it for this base. Okay, where's the sun? 
to line up. Which way is it going? Looks like it's going this way. Okay, let's go here quickly. Wait, was there any stairs here? No, there wasn't. There's a ladder though. I'll take that. Just getting up to some of these buildings, angle grinder, okay. Some of these tall buildings is a bit of an issue if you don't have anything with you. Like stairs or ladder. And then I need to find a temporary base. I like one with a red with a satellite dish usually. Because then I can start setting up a trading station. So if the farming's not gonna happen then you've got the trading station as an alternative to getting food. Because those two cereal bars are not gonna last long. Also very little at this base. Okay. Put that one there. Actually I think it's the grinder first. And glass. Yep. And plastic and that one. Yeah, then we can go through, swap to the glass and swap to that. Swap to plastic and snatch that one. Okay. I'm not gonna collect that. Let's see if we can make this a temporary base and drop some of our items here. We don't have to keep running around with them. The reason I want so much glass and plastic and the iron sheets is because I like to start with those windowed, well I like a lot of windows, um, so I want to create a lot of window walls and steel you can find as the base of all the bases around you, so it's easy and quick to get steel. Okay, can I jump through here? Yes, I could. Okay, one rice, that's not really going to help us much. There's another battery and a light here. So this, I believe, is a good place to start. And a lot of resources already. Okay, we'll put that down. Arc furnace, solar generator. I'm just going to eat that. I don't farm rice in any case. It's not very really useful. Okay. Put that away, put that away, eat that, switch the light off, and let's go scavenge just over this hill, I believe, is the, okay, before we do that, I can take a set of stairs here. Don't need that one, don't need that one, oops, don't want to take all of them. Okay, so we are going in that direction, over the hill. And another reason why I like the bases with the satellite dishes is because you can see your base from a fair distance at night with that dish, just not over this hill. So I need to keep in mind which direction I can. <coughs> Where are those tall bases? Can okay, yeah, there. Must be in this direction somewhere. Okay, time for some orientation. Here's my base. So single block, single block, single block, form a little triangle. Oh, I'm gonna get lost, but I need to head to that. I'm sure that 
tall bases were in this direction somewhere. Oh, now it's going to be difficult finding anything. There. Okay. So, we'll go here quickly. And then to the right. Because I need some farming materials. I'd be in heaven if I get potatoes now. Oh no, everything's buried. Oh well, that's okay. Because we have some hydroponic stations. Okay, now I just don't know. And the problem here is that you need to dig with this little thing. I don't know where exactly and if there is any crates or anything lying around. My only option is to dig this base out in order to see if there's anything here. Okay, so that's the direction I want to go and that's my base is in that direction somewhere over that hill. see any crates yet I see a locker there we'll check in the locker in a moment although I have a feeling yeah I thought so cool there's a few of these stations that have this, but I'm going to take the locker as well. Always want more storage lockers. Okay, got that. Put that back, swap around again. And dig a little further, see what we come up with. I've already got a coal generator, don't need a second one. But I'll take the coal though. Okay, now where and how does this basis layout go? Is there any flaws here somewhere with something on it? A bit boring digging with this little thing. Just trying to scan for some flaws, see if there's anything of use around here. I'm not gonna scavenge any cable yet. I'll be getting tons of that. Okay, that's enough of that. Swap back to tools. Uh, angle grinder first. New and new. Put that back in there. Get you. Get you. Put that in there, swap over to angle grinder again. Yeah, there was another door. Put you there. And now, what is that? Steel frames. I'll get them later. Don't want to get my inventory all. Full. Okay, so going in that direction, I need to come back in this direction. Need to keep that in mind. I 
you need to try to not get lost. I'm sure there was two tall bases earlier. I only see one. But it's okay. That's the direction I need to go to get back to my base. I've got ladders and I've got one well, I've got one ladder and two staircases. So that should be enough to get me up there. Okay. Here's the second door base. Oh, there's two of them. These are normally good for nuclear batteries and for tomato soups. Okay, that's the direction I need to go. There. I can't get up yet. Oh, I can. Made it. Let's get you and we'll get you and then see if we can get up here with maybe a ladder. No, that's a locker. Where's the ladder? Get stairs. There. Right in front of my face. go oh come on did I now fall yeah I'm stuck come on fall through and get over with okay let's go back come here up there Uh, I'm trying to get Andrew, that's why. There we go. Okay, no nuclear battery, but we get an APC. Well, I've got three of them. And nothing else here. Yeesh. This is a pretty dead one. There's a computer there. Okay, but I will take this and a little bit more. So a lot of scavenging in the beginning. I'll take that. Iron sheet. Hmm, not another one. And no. Interesting. Okay, let's go see if we can get. Okay. Ah, no. I don't want to fall down. There we go, made it. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Let's put that away. We'll take that. Put that there. And then we'll take you. Hmm. Okay, now we're full. We still need to get our ladder. Ah, jeez. Okay, screw it. I'm just going to go with stairs as an option. Because I do have a lot of stairs now. All three stairs will be enough. Okay, so we need to go in that direction. But we first need to get some. Oh, we don't have any more space to put stuff. Okay, let's go back first. At least we know the route. 
We'll go back quickly, drop some of these things off, and then go for those tall buildings and hopefully find some tomato soups. Now this is where we started, the starting area. So, done that one, other two tall ones, okay. But we'll go this direction first. Find our base with a satellite dish on. And then make sure that we are wasting light power, battery power here. There it is. Come back in this direction. Run past these, go for those tall buildings. Actually, I'll take this one as well. Battery cell empty. Okay. There you go. Just add one of those tiny batteries in. I'll get power set up now. I've only got one solar panel, but it's more than enough. We're going to be scavenging some more batteries in any case, and if we're really lucky, we'll get a kit battery somewhere. Okay, so keep in mind, I came from the direction the satellite, I'm going that way, okay. Mm. What am I going to do? I'm going to drop this, yeah. Put the stairs there and get myself a solar panel. And where am I going to put it? Okay, I like to put it here. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to deconstruct some stuff. Hey, come here. Angle grinder. Okay. These things are just going to fall down, so it's fine. Hey, don't do that. Okay. Done. Okay, drop there, and we will take an iron frame. Oh wait, yeah, I'm just going to use an iron frame. Okay, why? Well, because I'm on the wrong one, that's why. Okay, we need the welding torch quickly. I just need one and actually now you know what that's going to be part of my airlock system so we'll need to seal it up okay solar panel get the stairs out for now I'm just gonna run a pair of stairs like that I'll redo all of this later. It's just very temporary for now. Okay, wire. Get it running. Yeah, done. Actually, I have three of them, so I need the Wire cutters. Right, 
right, let's see. Yeah, we can pull through. That's good. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. That's the one. One there, and one there, and then we can do the APCs. We have three of them. Like that, like that, like that. Okay, I'll get a piece of glass in it. No, I can't go through there. I can go through there. Okay, it's wired up. And we just need to put a battery in it now. Where's that little one? And go, charge. Where's the sun? I thought. The sun should be a lot higher already. Hmm? Where the heck? It's right above us. Okay, so why is this not charging? It's got power to it. Nope. Come on, right there. Let us switch it off. Or did I not wire it up properly? Yeah. I was an idiot. There. Okay. And how's our suits one? Oh, sorry, a headlamp, not suit. Put that in there. Put that in there. Okay, now I'm gonna drop a few of these things here. Okay, wait, now what I'm gonna do first is install a big one. So I'm going to do this. Where's that locker? That locker. Because we are going to get way more space out of it. Yep. Okay, we can store more stuff. So, all these things are going to go in here for when I come back from my little expedition. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to get these when I'm out, but I'm going to try. But for now, I'm just going to store them here in case I do not get them. Right, folks, I think I'm going to leave that episode here. We've done a fair amount of scavenging. We've got our power set up there, charging those batteries. And we've got a large locker with some items in it, so not too bad for a start. In the next one, we'll head back to those two little building, uh, tall buildings that we haven't gone to and scavenge those. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification next to it if you want to follow this series and get informed of new episodes. And if you like this episode, please hit the like button. I'll really appreciate that. I'll see you in the next one.